Hey guys, Sniper here. Okay, uh, today we're going to be talking about um, mixed troops. So as a as a Azuka player, y you actually want to be able to um, use more than just pure Azuka, and there are some uh, problems that that come up that you need to make sure that you account for if you're doing that. So why would a Zuka player need to, to use uh, more than just Zuka? Well, sometimes um, it can be very useful to mix in a boat of heavies, for example, um, because you're basically bringing along some, uh, well, they're, they're, they're meat shields basically, and they allow your other seven boats of Zuka to do a lot more damage because they've got more time to fire. So instead of loading up on um, like 10,000, you know, GBE boosts um, to shock a lot of different rocket launcher banks, for example, you could bring along a boat of heavies and make sure that they end up in front of your Zuka. And um, when your shocks run out, the first thing that the rocket launchers are going to target is your um, heavies and not your Zuka. And that'll give you another, you know, five or six seconds of firing, which is another, you know, three volleys or so, which could be a huge amount of damage. So we're going to watch Ice to the Sea and um, talk about a couple of, th of the things that he does uh, when he's using a mixed troop uh, setup, because one of the things that you're going to have to deal with is different movement rates, right? Heavies and um, Scorchers, well, Scorchers actually are, are they, they move with the Zooka a little more easily, but uh, Heavies, they walk fast. <laughs> And so you've got to um, over over if you're traveling long distances, you're going to run into problems. Um, so one of the things that you're going to have to do is use waypoints. All right. So we're going to watch Ice to the Sea do this, and you're going to see him deploy carefully. He he keeps in mind the fact that these guys have different movement rates, right? And so he's going to keep his Zuka grouped and do his best to keep the heavies grouped with them as well. All right, so he's about to deploy here. He sets his flare, make sure, making sure everyone's walking on water. The beachhead is not under threat, so he's not wasting energy uh, using any smokes. He's stacking his Zooka. He's got seven boats of Zooka there. They're all in a nice tight group, and he doesn't release the boat of heavies until right about then. Notice how the heavies start off a little bit behind the Zooka, and um, that gives them a little bit more time for them to catch up. And now the first heavy's already passing them. Okay. Okay, so now he's got to account for throwing the smoke to, um, to keep both the heavies and the Zooka safe. Now notice he kept a gap there because the flames aren't in reach and nobody's gonna get shot at. But now he's making sure that all the smokes uh, have no gap at all. And there we go. Now he set, a, he set the flare there. He waited for the Zooka to catch up to the heavy. So basically it's a reset. They're all together again. And now he's throwing a huge uh, pile of smoke there to just make sure everyone's safe while he gets into position. And uh, flares the core. The heavies move up. Okay. I guess this isn't totally perfect because uh, the heavies aren't in front of all the Zookas. Uh, but the majority are behind there. Okay, so now when his uh, when his um, shocks ran out, you saw that the first volley of all the sh of all the uh, rockets went ahead and uh, hit the um, hit the heavies, leaving the Zookas safe to continue shooting the core for a little bit. Okay, so that's one example of mixed troop management, and we'll probably do a couple more um, in subsequent videos, so you can kind of see how to do that a little better.